Hi there, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you another in-depth nutritional profile comparison video. I'm gonna compare three of the most popular types of seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds, and hemp seeds. Which one has the most nutrient density? Is it a close tie or is one a clear winner? You gotta watch to find out. If you're a subscriber to my channel, Clean Food Living, then you've probably seen some of my other nutritional profile comparison videos, like the one I did here comparing three types of lettuce, green, red, and romaine. Or the one I did here on comparing the nutrition density between red cabbage and green cabbage. There's definitely a winner there. Well, like in those videos and today's videos, I don't do generalizations of nutritional content. For instance, saying something like, quote, this food has a lot of B vitamins, or this food has a lot of calcium. Well, what exactly does that mean, a lot? It's kind of a vague term, you know? For me, I'm an in-depth nutritional profile nut. I like specific values and real numbers. So with my videos, I take the mystery out of generalizations and give specific numeric values for each nutrient. Under the following four panels, the vitamin panel, the mineral panel, the amino acid panel, and the omegas panel. Yes, it is a lot of information to take in when you go through each panel, each nutrient with a specific numeric value. But if you're a nutrition nut like myself, then that's exactly what you're looking for and what floats your boat. So we're gonna jump into that real quick here. I just wanna say, if you're not a part of my channel, Clean Food Living, consider subscribing if you like videos like this one with in-depth nutritional profiles, but also a mix of other topics like fermenting vegetables, wild edibles like rose hips, how to find them, harvest them, make tea from them. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and then hit the little bell icon next to it so that you're notified each time I upload a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it and find out which seed, hemp seeds, flax seeds, or chia seeds are the most nutrient dense seed. For the vitamin profile, all measurements are based on one ounce, 28 grams of flax seeds, hemp seeds, and chia seeds. For vitamin A in the form of beta carotene, flax seeds have zero, hemp seeds 3.1 milligrams, and chia seeds 12.3. For vitamin C, flax seeds have 0.2 milligrams, hemp seeds 0.1, chia seeds 0.4. There is zero vitamin D for all seeds. For vitamin E, flax seed has 0.1 milligrams, hemp seeds 0.2, and chia seeds 0.1. For vitamin K, flax seeds has 1.2 micrograms, hemp seeds 1.7 micrograms, and chia seeds at 7.2. For thiamine B1, flax seeds have 0.5 milligrams, hemp seeds 0.4, chia seeds 0.1. There is zero vitamin B2 in flax seeds, and hemp seeds have 0.1 milligrams and chia seeds have zero. For niacin B3, flax seeds have 0.9 milligrams, hemp seeds 2.6, chia seeds 1.7. For panthenatic acid, B5, flax seeds have 0.3 milligrams, hemp seeds 0.3 milligrams, and chia seeds at 0.2. Vitamin B6, flax seeds have 0.1 milligrams, hemp seeds 0.2 milligrams, and chia seeds at 0.4. There is zero vitamin B12 for all the seeds. For folate, flax seeds have 24.4 micrograms, hemp seeds 30.8, and chia seeds at 13.7. For choline, flax seeds have 22 milligrams, hemp seeds at 22.4, and chia seeds at 18.3. For lutein and zeanthanin, flax seeds have 182 micrograms, hemp seeds 250.3, and chia seeds at 328.7. I've marked in red which seed has the highest value for each nutrient. This takes us to our winner platform for highest vitamin content. Hemp seeds and chia seeds tie for first, and flax seeds take second. And I have to add here, not one seed was really dominant over the other. If this were really just some sort of sporting event, it would have been a photo finish for all three. So let's dive into our mineral profile. For calcium, flax seed has 71.4 milligrams, hemp seeds at 19.6, and chia seeds at 176.7. For iron, flax seeds has 1.6 milligrams, hemp seeds at 2.3, and chia seeds at 2.2. For magnesium, flax seeds have 198.8 milligrams, hemp seeds 111.3, and chia seeds at 111.1. For phosphorus, flax seeds have 182 milligrams, hemp seeds at 468.6, and chia seeds at 244.2. For potassium, flax seeds have 230.9 milligrams, hemp seeds at 340.8, and chia seeds at 115.6. For sodium, flax seeds have 8.5 milligrams, hemp seeds at 1.4, and chia seeds at 4.5. For zinc, 
Flax seeds have 1.2 milligrams, hemp seeds at 2.8, and chia seeds at 1.3. For copper, flax seeds have 0.3 milligrams, hemp seeds at 0.5, and chia seeds at 0.3. For manganese, flax seeds have 0.7 milligrams, hemp seeds at 2.2, and chia seeds at 0.8. Lastly, we have selenium. Flax seeds have 7.1 milligrams, hemp seeds at 7.2, and chia seeds at 15.5. I've marked in red each seed who has the highest value for the mineral. I'm also placing a pink highlight on some of the values that I consider noteworthy as being significantly higher than the other seeds for the same mineral. Chia seeds have nine times more calcium than hemp seeds and double the amount of flax. Hemp seeds have double the amount of phosphorus than flax and chia and three times more potassium than chia and just under double the amount than flax. For our winner's platform under the mineral profile for the most amount of highest values, hemp seeds take first place while chia and flax tie for second. Okay, we are halfway through. We've done the mineral profile and the vitamin profile and we've got two more to go, the aminos and the omegas. And if you're still with me, give me a shout out in the comments below. Just a little note here between you and me. When we get to the omegas panel, I've added a new measurement than what I've done in the past. Be sure to stick around to see what it is. Okay, my die-hard nutrition facts fellow friends, let's get back into it by taking the biggest bite yet, the amino acids profile. Alright, here we are at the amino acid profile. For complete protein, flaxseed has 5.2 grams, hemp seeds at 9 grams, and chia seeds at 4.7. For tryptophan, flax seeds have 84 milligrams, hemp seeds 105, and chia seeds 125. For theronine, flax seeds have 218 milligrams, hemp seeds at 360, and chia seeds at 201. For isoleucine, flax seeds have 254 milligrams, hemp seeds at 365, and chia seeds at 227. For leucine, flax seeds have 351 milligrams, hemp seeds at 614, and chia seeds at 389. For lysine, flax seeds have 245 milligrams, hemp seeds at 362, and chia at 275. For methionine, flax seeds have 105 milligrams, hemp seeds at 265, and chia at 275. For cysteine, flax seeds have 97 milligrams, hemp seeds at 191, and chia seeds at 116. For phenylalanine, flax seeds have 272 milligrams, hemp seeds at 411, and chia seeds at 289. For tyrosine, flax seeds have 140 milligrams, hemp seeds at 359, and chia seeds at 160. For valine, flax seeds have 304 milligrams, hemp seeds at 505, and chia seeds at 270. For arginine, flax seeds have 547 milligrams, hemp seeds at 1292, and chia seeds at 609. For histidine, flax seeds have 134 milligrams, hemp seeds at 275, and chia seeds at 151. For alanine, flax seeds have 263 milligrams, hemp seeds at 434, and chia at 296. For aspartic acid, flax seeds have 581 milligrams, hemp seeds at 1040, and chia seeds at 480. For glutamic acid, flax seeds have 1147 milligrams, hemp seeds at 1780, and chia seeds at 994. For glycine, flax seeds have 354 milligrams, hemp seeds at 458, and chia seeds at 268. For proline, flax seeds have 229 milligrams, hemp seeds at 454, and chia seeds at 220. For serine, flax seeds have 275 milligrams, hemp seeds at 486, and chia at 298. For hydroxyproline, flax seeds have 50 milligrams, hemp seeds at zero, and chia also at zero. I've highlighted the highest values in red, and it's pretty easy to see hemp seeds crush the competition. However, I want to give an honorable mention to flax seeds containing hydroxyproline. This is an amino acid typically found only in animal products, so to find it in a plant source is pretty rare. For our winner's platform, hemp seeds take a well-deserved first place, chia in second, and flax in third. However, with an honorable mention for the hydroxyproline content. Okay, my friends, we have made it to the last panel, the omegas panel. For the omega-3s, flax seeds have 6,479 milligrams, hemp seeds at 2641, and chia seeds at 5,064. For omega-6, flax seeds have 1,678 milligrams, hemp seeds at 8236, and chia seeds at 1657. I'm now going to add a column to take into consideration the omega-6 to the omega-3 ratio. The ideal ratio is 1 to 1, or as close to that as possible. However, with modern diets, that ratio has become closer to 30 to 1. 
30 times more omega-6s than omega-3s. Since most processed foods and fried foods are done so in vegetable oils high on omega-6, this throws our omega 1 to 1 ratio way off to a more realistic 30 to 1 ratio that I just mentioned, at least for the average person on the average modern diet. Now, if one can get that ratio down to under 5, that's considered a healthy range. Of course, working towards the 1 to 1 ratio ideally, but it's really challenging to get there in today's kind of world. So under this new column of the 6 to 3 ratio, flax seeds have a ratio of 0.26, hemp seeds 3.12, and chia seeds at 0.33. I've highlighted in red the best ratio out of the three, closest to 1. The winner's platform for this panel will be based on the best omega 6 to 3 ratio being closest to 1. We've got chia seeds in first, flax in second, and hemp seeds in third. Here is our recap for our first place winners under each profile. Under the vitamin profile, we had hemp and chia tie for first. Under the mineral profile, hemp seeds took first. Omega profile, based on ratios, was chia seeds. And, and under the amino acid profile, hemp seeds crushed it. We made it to the end. I know it feels a little bit like a marathon with that amino acid profile being as big as it is. But if you're still with me, then I know you're a real nutrition facts diehard like myself. So is the seed you eat the most the best one in your opinion from what you've seen here? For me, I'm a hemp seed woman all the way. But I do have to admit, the flaxseed really got my attention with having that hydroxyproline amino acid. But even though I'm a hemp seed woman all the way, I am a bit disappointed that the hemp seed didn't have more omega-3 than I thought it did. How about you? What were your pre-thoughts before going into this? Any surprises? Disappointments? I love hearing from you, so leave a comment below. I read all my comments. If you want to see more of these types of videos, you can check them out right here. I'll also put a link in the description below just in case you don't see the thumbnails here. Be sure also to hit that subscribe button. Love to have you be a part of my channel, Clean Food Living, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.